Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be continuing into part 10 of what if Bulma wished for a boyfriend. If you haven't seen part 9, there is a title card where you can go check it out and see what happened in the last part. But today, we'll be going into the Battle of Gods saga. After the close call with Boo, what have the Z Fighters been up to? Will they be strong enough to face off Beerus? Who will be the Super Saiyan God in this scenario? Also, I'm on a Discord server for anyone who wants to join and talk more about Dragon Ball with me and other viewers. Maybe give out some of your own ideas of what ifs, and maybe in the future, I could do them. Check the link in the description down below. For today's question of the video is from Vegito ST1. Hi Wrathful, will you ever do a what if that includes Psychor? Now I did think about that back when I made what if Beerus woke up after GT. Originally I was gonna have a saga for him and, and almost replace Goku Black with him. But then I also had a rule with myself when I started making what is for this channel with not trying to go into fan service stuff, kind of really just trying to stick to all like source material for Dragon Ball Z, Super, and GT. I pulled Super Saiyan 5 from uh, Dragon Ball AF because I did think a lot of people like that form and that form is really commonly known even though it is a fan service. I, I'm not trying to go too much into bringing like fan service stuff to Dragon Ball. Maybe... Zykor will be in the future what if because he's also like in the same category as Super Saiyan 5 with being like highly known throughout most people who will know about Dragon Ball but it's it's a maybe I'm not too sure because like I said the rule I made for myself was that I didn't want to kind of I didn't want to bring too much fan service outside of Dragon Ball like you know AF I like I like Dragon Ball AF but you know is people it's like it's fans of Dragon Ball who created it you know I don't want to kind of take that from people who made that themselves but also maybe so I'm I I'm gonna keep it as a maybe because maybe one day I will but I'm not too sure and I don't want to say yes but maybe maybe him and maybe Super Saiyan 5 but probably that's about it I wouldn't I don't want to go too much into like getting stuff from fan service concepts from people who made their own stuff off of Dragon Ball but yeah I hope you like that answer if you want your comment to be featured in the next video just comment down a question or anything Dragon Ball or not Dragon Ball related you want to ask me and maybe you'll be looking enough for your comment to be featured in the next video without further ado let's dive into part 10 of what if Boma wished for a boyfriend after the events of Majin Buu the Saiyans continued on with their lives, but also, knowing what had happened in another timeline, they continued to train. Everyone did. The half Saiyans all continued with training, with Gohan and Trunks achieving the Super Saiyan 2 form and their younger siblings achieving the Super Saiyan. Tarbo would continue to train from time to time, but did want to settle down. With Broly and Raditz, they actually ended up starting a family. Raditz met with Launch and settled down with her, and for Broly, with the help of Bulma, he settled down with her older sister, Tights. Gohan would still end up with Videl, and for Trunks, he would actually be with Videl's friend, Eraser. Videl would have introduced Trunks to her back when they started high school, a bit later than when Ken and Gohan went to school in the normal timeline. Raditz did perfect the Super Saiyan 2, with Broly mastering his Super Saiyan form, and with controlling his power, he didn't really need to go into Super Saiyan 2. Yamcha and Krillin continued their training with the Supreme Kai, and even achieved a new form, which they called their beast form. And with this form, they were the strongest out of the group, as they would do some sparring with Goku, Vegeta, and Broly. With Goku and Vegeta with the form they had back when they prepared for Buu, at the time they didn't think the form was worth it. But with peace back on Earth, they trained to try to master this new form, which they called it Super Saiyan 3. With Buu being a now a good guy and joining them in training, it helped the Saiyans a lot to grow much more stronger, and before the events of Battle of Gods, both Goku and Vegeta learned to master the Super Saiyan 3 form. The events of Battle of Gods would commence with Beerus waking up as it was the time for his ultimate rival, the Super Saiyan God, to be around as he would ask Whis about the Super Saiyan God, which Whis would show Beerus all of the Saiyans that are on Earth and all they have done after the events of the destruction of planet Vegeta. Beerus would grow quite curious about these Saiyans, but were glad that it was just one place that they would have to travel to as in this timeline, Goku would actually be on Earth, training instead of King Kai's planet as he never trained with him here. And it would still be Bulma's birthday party, so everyone would be here to celebrate her birthday. It wouldn't take long for them to arrive on planet Earth, and they would be caught off guard without any warnings from the Kais. All of them were confused on who these people were, except Yamcha, Krillin, Vegeta, and Raditz. As I would believe that Raditz would know about Beerus, and Krillin and Yamcha would have learned about him during their time training under the Supreme Kai. They would warn everyone about Beerus, telling him that he is the God of Destruction. Here, everyone would try to show their respect, 
even Goku, as he would have no problem listening to Vegeta as he is like an older brother to him. He would spend some time eating the various foods at the party and have some fun, but that would all be cut with Majin Buu as their fight over pudding would still occur, as when he grows angry, that is when everyone would get into a fighting stance, all going right at Beerus to fight him. Gohan and Trunks would fuse, knowing how dangerous this person is, and they would need all the power they have. The two young half Saiyans would try to face Beerus, but with just a finger, he would take both Golten and Bra out without any trouble until the fusion of Gohan and Trunks goes to strike Beerus. Gohan strikes Beerus going all out. Beerus however found their fusion to be rather annoying and their power being nothing to him. So before they could even transform, he would knock them both out in one punch as the fusion would undo as both Gohan and Trunks are knocked out. Yamcha and Krillin both in their newly acquired beast form tried their best with Beerus as he was somewhat entertained with the two fighters as they were no doubt the strongest and even had God Key. They stood the best chance with these new power ups as they were strong in their own right. And maybe Beerus used more of his power, but only around 40%. As even with their best efforts throwing all they had against Beerus, they would end up being knocked out. Beerus did say that the power they possessed was incredible, but the only downfall is the fact that they are only Earthlings. And if maybe one of the Saiyans obtained that power, then maybe he could have been the Super Saiyan God that he has been looking for. Raidus would then rush at Beerus in his Super Saiyan 2 form, but that would prove to be rather useless. Goku and Vegeta powers up into their Super Saiyan 3 form, as they would tell Broly that he needs to lose control if they will have any hope in stopping Beerus, as then they would try to rush him down. With two Master Super Saiyan 3s, this makes Beerus use a little more power, but even then, they are nothing to him. Even with their combined forces and teamwork, it was no match for the God of Destruction, as with a simple power-up, he easily would take out one of them, and then the other in the same second. The supposedly strongest fighters of the planet were both taken out with no effort, as everyone began to show fear. Broly seeing all of his friends and family being hurt, he allowed himself to lose control and break his limit, going into his full power Super Saiyan form and began to brawl it out with Beerus. At the start of the fight, Broly isn't much for Beerus, but Beerus does slowly sense how Broly continues to grow stronger the longer they fight and after a while, Beerus begins to have to try more and more. Even though if it's not much for Beerus, the fight looks intense which eats blow that Broly lands on Beerus, creating a massive pressure wave. Beerus found Broly interesting, as if he did some training with Whis, he could definitely be a worthy fighter, but at his current state, it would take him some time to become a good fight for Beerus. When Broly is distracting Beerus, they would summon Shenron to wish for the Super Saiyan God, but like in the movie, that is impossible, as he would explain the backstory of the Super Saiyan God and its ritual. Unlike in the movie though, in this timeline, they have plenty of Saiyans to do the ritual, but then they asked who would become the Super Saiyan God, as it was between both Vegeta and Goku, but then they thought about fusing it to Gogeta just to make sure it would be enough to beat Beerus. Goku and Vegeta would both fuse into Gogeta once again, and their ritual would be performed on Gogeta, as he would obtain the Super Saiyan God form. The moment he obtains the form, that is when Beerus knocked out Broly, as he was getting quite angry and bored of Broly, but his attention quickly is directed to Gogeta, as he sensed the god key coming from that fighter. He asks Gogeta who he is, as he didn't see him earlier, as Gogeta would introduce himself. I was the fighters Goku and Vegeta, but now I am the fighter that will defeat you. Beerus smirks at this comment, being open to this new challenge. Without another word, the fight would begin, as the two would clash against each other. This fight is mind-blowing, with everyone having a hard time to try to keep up with what is going on. They move all around the planet as if they cannot keep their own fight in just one area, and they need the whole planet to be their fighting arena. Any attacks Gogeta throws, they try to be careful to not accidentally destroy the earth. The attacks make Beerus react to divert the attack as if he were to get hit with them, it would hurt him. This fighter was getting Beerus excited as this was the fight he has been waiting for for quite some time. Soon they would bring their fight up to space, as at this point Gogeta would lose the god form as he would panic a little. Beerus would calm his worries explaining how they didn't lose the form, but it became a part of them, as they still had god key in both of them actually. This surprised the fusion as they didn't think that the ritual would have affected both of them, but with their worries put to rest, they wanted to continue their fight with Beerus, as they would power up into their Super Saiyan 3 form and rush at Beerus. Their fight continued to be as intense as it was. Beerus wanted to test out the fusion by creating a huge destruction ball as he would throw it right at the planet. Gogeta would see this as they would try to hold it back, but they would slowly be pushed back as they were not strong enough to hold it back. Then they think about another way to stop the attack, as they would jump back and start forming a key around their hand. They began charging up their Soul Punisher attack to try to erupt the attack in space so it wouldn't destroy the planet. They would create their Soul Punisher attack and launch it right at Beerus' attack, which would cause a huge explosion that Gogeta would get the full force on 
as he was still pretty close from the attack. This hurts him a lot, even to the point where Gogeta defused back to Goku and Vegeta, as they are both really damaged from the attack. Their bodies covered in bruises and scrapes as they struggle to stay conscious. Beerus would point out their new predicament as they would look at each other seeing how they are now back to being themselves. They get into a fighting stance as they still haven't beat Beerus, and they don't want their planet to be destroyed. Beerus laughs saying that he won't destroy the planet as he was satisfied with the fight that they gave him and even thought about giving them the offer to train with him on his planet so that they could grow stronger and maybe in the future have them give him a good fight without having to fuse. They chuckle and sigh of relief came out as they began to relax in space but before they passed out, Beerus does say that they weren't the strongest person that he has ever fought as this caught them off guard as they didn't think there was someone else out there stronger than either of them. But before they could say anything, they would pass out as Beerus would catch the two and bring them back to Earth. Everyone is shocked and scared seeing the two knocked out and Beerus still standing as, as the fighters prepare to continue the fight until Beerus tells them that he won't be destroying the planet as he was happy with the fight he was given. He thanks everyone for the fight and the food and even apologized to Boma for ruining her party. Beerus and Whis would prepare to leave but he would look back at the group, really eyeing down Broly as he was interested with him the most, telling the group that he is open to whoever wants to train under him to grow stronger. He does say that that they would have to rely on their human friends who had trained under the Supreme Kai as he knows that they have the Kai Kai and they could use that to teleport to his planet. So he will be waiting for them once they arrive as they would leave Earth. All the attention is on Yamcha and Krillin as they get nervous as it is up to them to get to Beerus' planet. Once Vegeta and Goku recovers, they would want to go over there to train right away. Broly and Raditz would join in as well. Gohan and Trunks would like to do so but at this point they would be expecting to have their first child. Goten and Bra would also like to go as they are very inspired to grow stronger after seeing their future selves but their mothers would not allow them but then Goku and Vegeta would butt in saying that they could bring them back with Yamcha and Krillin and they say it could be good for them to grow stronger using the future timeline in their argument and they would budge and allow them to go for a little bit. Yamcha and Krillin would teleport everyone around as they would go to the Supreme Kai first to get a general direction of where his planet is and after a few teleportations they would manage to finally arrive on Beerus' planet as the two would be exhausted after teleporting so many times. But now, they would all begin their training under the God of Destruction. And that's where we're gonna leave it off for now. Tell me how you think about the 10th part and how it did with the Battle of God Saga. With this many people, how strong would they get with the training under Whis? What would be the next event for these fighters? Would Frieza come back? Or will we move on to the next saga? What could have happened differently? Leave your thoughts down in the comments. I would love to hear them. If y'all are interested and enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be alerted whenever I post another part. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next part. See ya.